few days I'm finally feeling a little better and I really wanted to film the rest of this video is gonna be a voiceover just so you don't have to listen to my voice because I know it sounds really gross right now just wanted to come in say hi hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are staying safe if you want to see how I got this look a really simple super easy smoky burgundy eye then go ahead and keep watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future uploads that's pretty much it you guys thanks again so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye all right guys so brows are done let's get started so first i'm going to be taking the camo concealer the hydrating camo concealer by elf to prime the lids and i'm also taking their concealer sponge to blend that out I'm gonna take the e.l.f. eye tapes to create that sharp edge that I'm wanting to achieve in this look. These are so good for doing that or even for perfecting your wing liner. Try these if you haven't. They are so good and so affordable. Now I'm gonna take the ColourPop and Kathleen So Jaded palette and I'm taking the shade Garnet. This is gonna go all over the lid up to the crease, but we're not gonna like blend it out too, too much. I don't want this super blown out or anything mostly on the eyelid and a tiny bit in the crease so that's what I'm gonna do here and then I'm gonna wing it out a little bit and this is where the tape really really helps because when I remove the tape these lines are gonna be even they're gonna look the same and I don't have to worry about cleaning up a whole lot of it at the end now I'm gonna take the shade Ametrine. This is what we're gonna use to blend out the first shade. And I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of this and a really, really light hand. I don't wanna wanna apply too much product because I want it just to stay right in the crease, mostly in the crease. But yeah, we're just using a tiny bit of this just to blend that out to diffuse the first shade and just make it look a little bit more blended. Then we're gonna take the shade Pearl and just pop this right in our inner corner. This is my favorite shade for the inner corner from this palette. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeliner. I'm not winging the eyeliner out. I'm just using um, this to hide the lash band, but you see the edge, like how it's so crisp and clean. I mean, I didn't have to like clean this up at all with anything afterwards, so it was perfect. For priming my face, I'm using the Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer and the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer and I just used that to hydrate and prime the face. I went ahead and applied my lashes. I can't remember what lashes these are. I'm so sorry, but I think I got them from like AliExpress or something like that. I can't remember. For foundation, I used the, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation in the shade Natural Beige and then I went in and contoured with the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. For blending that out, I'm using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. This is my favorite brush for blending out the contour stick. It just blends everything out so seamlessly. I don't have to swipe or rub, I just pat everything in. I'm sure the contour stick it has a lot to do with it because it just blends out so perfect, so easy, and I love it. For concealer, I'm going back in with the e.l.f. Camo, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Why can't I remember that? And I'm just applying that underneath the eyes, the forehead, center of the face, so down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the sides and my chin, and taking that e.l.f. sponge and blending all of that out. To set the concealer, I'm using a combination of two powders, the Wet n Wild Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent and the Cover Curl Setting Powder in the shade Banana. To set the rest of the face, I'm taking the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Light Beige with this powder brush that I got from Walmart. It's by the brand Equate, I think. And then I go in with a little bit of the Morphe Setting Mist just to set those powders down. 
I'm taking the Milani Silky Matte Powder Bronzer in the shade Suntan to bronze the face and also contour a little bit. For blush, I'm using this bronzer by NARS. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm just going to leave it in the description box so that I don't butcher it. For highlight, I'm taking the e.l.f. Cosmetics and the Bella Noir Loose Highlighter. This highlighter is gorgeous, so pretty, so pigmented. I absolutely love it. To set the face, I'm taking the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. And then I'm going to go in and do the lower lash line with the same eyeshadows that we used on our lid. So I'm taking Garnet and then Amatrine. A little bit of mascara. For the lips, I'm using the Satin Kiss Lip Liner by Makeup Revolution in the shade Rosé and the Kylie Cosmetics Autumn Matte Liquid Lipstick. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.